It sets off into the air, flying low above the grass of the Kafue floodplains. The purpose is to combat the migratory red locusts that have found a home in the Kafue floodplains around Itestesia and Namala districts in southern province, causing fear and panic among farmers in the area. We have identified uh, 10 hot spot camps, uh, that is um, covering the entire district. We also done the surveillance, the ground surveillance, uh, covering over 15,000 uh, hectares. So far we have 400 liters of chemicals in the Stage district, which can still be moved to any other district within the province, in, in, just in case. This is one of the identified hotspots here in the Kafio floodplains under the Wasanga Agricultural Camp in the Stage district. Determined to control the pest, the Minister of Agriculture is using drones to survey and conduct aerial spot spraying in the identified hotspots. We are targeting the hotspots. If they have not sprayed to a larger area, we go in with the drone and spray the, the hotspots. So within an hour, we can do 16 hectares, which is at least sufficient to control the population where we, we believe that those are hotspots of the red dogs. The drone, we have just used it for the, for the first time and it's another step in the, in the right direction, I think, as compared to ground spray. We will continue using the drone in the future to help, especially when we are using the biopesticide. Experts describe the numbers of the red locusts in the area as low, but need continuous monitoring. Farmers are also on high alert. We have seen both the red, the, the, the red locusts and the African migratory locusts, which are the common species which are around Zambia. They are in solitary phase and they are not causing any danger to, to, to any crop. When they are in solitary phase, they, 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 they don't cause much damage. They cause much damage when they, they form swarms and they start flying out. We are working as a team with our officer, who is Mr. Kantonga. When we see their planes, we make some photos report to him or also report to the district. After the aerial hotspot spraying that is currently taking place here, farmers will need to keep their animals away for about 10 days. I am Nicholas Mare reporting in the district, southern province.